Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have two healthy breakfast recipes for you. If you're new to my channel, I am a plant-based RN and I follow the starch solution. On my channel you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. And if you are new to this way of eating or maybe you're having some trouble struggling, I have a Facebook group and I will leave the link to all those in the description box below. So let's get started on the first recipe. So the first recipe I'm going to be making is a healthier version of a banana muffin. It's going to be 100% plant-based, no oil, gluten-free. So I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. We're going to start with two really ripe bananas. You want them really spotty. And we're going to put these in the blender. I want my muffins to have a smoother consistency, so I'm going to blend them up into my Vitamix. For a little extra sweetness, I'm going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup. Now you don't have to do that. It's going to be sweet just with the bananas, but I want a little bit more sweetness. So I'm going to blend these up and then I'll set them aside and we'll get the dry ingredients all together. So for the dry ingredients, I'm just using some oat flour, which I made myself in my little magic bullet. So I've got three fourths cup of oat flour. I've got six tablespoons of almond flour. I've got one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. And for my spices, I have a half a teaspoon of vanilla powder. If you don't have vanilla powder, you can use a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I would put that in with the banana and blend that up all together. Or you could put it in later, it doesn't matter. And then I have some cinnamon and a little bit of salt. So we're gonna mix this all together. If you have never tried vanilla powder, it's so good. You only need half the amount of liquid uh, vanilla, and it's just such a good flavor. It's expensive, but you only use half as much. Now we're gonna put in our pureed banana. And we'll give this a good stir. You want this batter fairly thick. So this is about the consistency that you want. Now I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of chocolate chips, totally optional, but I'll be sharing these with my husband and he likes chocolate chips. So I'm adding chocolate chips, but you, they're delicious without. And it's only a quarter cup. Now I'm gonna use my silicone muffin pan. If you don't have a silicone, then use the little paper cups. That's totally fine. And every time I make these, I get a different amount. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's the size of the bananas. I get six or I get eight. So we'll see what happens today. I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup. But if you want your muffins real big, then just make six. And it looks like I'm getting about seven today. So six to eight muffins. Now I'm going to uh, put these in a preheated oven at 350 for about 25, 30 minutes till the toothpick comes out clean. They're gonna crack on the top a little bit and then we'll give them a taste. Next up is my hash brown waffle. I've got my waffle iron heating up over here because you want it really hot and that is how it's not gonna stick. If you try to put it in when it's not all the way hot, it's gonna stick. Now I'm using frozen hash browns. You could use, uh, make hash browns from fresh. What I would suggest is that you grate um, a potato and then you would want to put it in a dish towel and squeeze out as much moisture as you could and then continue the recipe on as follows. So I've got a couple cups of hash browns and I, just defrosted these, made sure they were defrosted. Then I have a quarter cup of riced cauliflower because we want to add some veggies to this. Then I'm adding some bell peppers. These were just frozen red, green, and yellow. And then I just defrosted those as well, chopped them up a bit. And then I'm adding about a tablespoon of red onion chopped. 
And for spices, I've got some onion powder, garlic salt, and smoked paprika. Exact measurements will be in the description box. So I'm going to just mix this all together. All right, so my waffle iron is nice and hot. So I'm gonna add the potatoes. And then you just kind of want to smash them down into a nice even layer. This recipe makes about two waffles. All right, now we're going to close it. Push it down as much as we can until it's as closed as possible. And we're gonna let this cook minimum 10 minutes. Don't look at it, don't touch it, don't worry about all the steam that comes up. 10 minutes minimum and then you're gonna check to see if it lifts off easily, you know it's done. If not, we're gonna let it go another couple minutes and we'll just repeat the process. Okay, waffle is still cooking, but muffins are done. Yum. They came out perfect. We're gonna let them cool for a bit and then we'll give them a taste. Okay, here is your healthy breakfast choices. We have our banana chocolate chip muffin, much healthier version. This is good for a snack or just take a couple on the road, on your way to work. And then the waffle, super easy. I'm gonna add some ketchup to this, but let's give these a taste. Here is our finished product. We've got my muffins and the waffle, add a little ketchup on there. Let's give these a taste. Let's start with savory first. Mmm, nice and crunchy on the outside. Still soft in the middle. Nice seasonings. Really good breakfast. Now this wouldn't be all I would eat for breakfast. I would have some fruit. I may even have a side of broccoli, but this is definitely the starch portion of your breakfast. And now for our muffin. And again, this would not be my total breakfast. This would be something that I would probably have for a snack. If I was going to eat it for breakfast, then I would probably have a couple of these and definitely a side of veggies or a side of fruit because two muffins is not gonna cut it. All right, so let's, oh, yummy. See those chocolate chips, they're so warm. Mm. So good. And they're not overly sweet, which I love. So it is perfect. I don't like to eat sweet things in the morning necessarily. Like that's why I was never really a fan of donuts, things like that. Those don't really set well with me in the morning, something sweet like that, but I haven't had a donut in forever. But anyway, these are good. A little bit of chocolate chips. Like I said, you could leave them out and they'd be just as delicious. So if you like this video, if you learned something, if you've got something out of it, please give it a like. And if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with healthy breakfast. And that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate your support. The full recipes will be in the description box. As always, please check out my other links down below. And remember that all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. Why do I have two spoons? I don't know. Okay, here's our finished product. We've got our, here's our finished product. We, oh my God.